Let's get into the main event. This was interesting. Uh, it was the inner circle winner becomes the main tag team main event match. And he- here's some thoughts I had before we get into the match. One, super interesting that you can have a match of two, four, six, six heels wrestle each other and we care, right? Like it obviously main evented for a reason. It draws ratings. They are interesting, but we shouldn't fucking care, right? Like who cares? They all lose. You know, we've talked about last week when it was Hitler versus Mussolini. Like I'm not rooting for anyone in that fight. And in the inner circle, you shouldn't care who the, uh, main of, or, you know, the main tag team is or Stalin. Totally root for Mussolini, man. Come on. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa, (laughs) pal. That was sarcasm. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, you're no. like, sure. Well, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, pal. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. It was MJF and Chris Jericho, Santana and Ortiz, and then uh, Sammy Guevara and Jake Hager, which, side note, they actually got Sammy Hager to say that his favorite tag team was Sammy Guevara and Jake yeah, Hager. You, you Great. acted Great job. very shocked about that, but I'm sure it costs like a cheeseburger and a six-pack to get Sammy Hager. It's to- still <laughs> cool. Hey, you know. Maybe they sent him some chicken wings. Maybe. I heard that actually is a great way to get people involved in uh, and your media. And yeah, in your right, interview yeah. or media. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I, I thought it was great, and I, I like – you know, one thing during this whole pandemic that I will give credit to AEW is they've done a lot of pop culture and pseudo celebrities involved in their show. And outside the Mike Tyson flub that they had where Tyson was just ripping his shirt in front of Jericho for no apparent fucking reason, their their spots have all made sense and not been overdone. Like, that was the perfect way for Sammy Hager, uh, Hager to be on AEW, you know what i'm saying it wasn't that yeah. he walked out with them or he was in their corner it's like okay we're pushing the limits it was just a hey guys you like rock and roll remember me from van halen see ya and you're like oh neat okay moving on they're perfect if you remember the manitoba melee when it was lou ferrigno mm-hmm. and jay and silent bob and all those guys it was just the wow So let's get into the, well, that was kind of weird. Uh, so let's get into the main event. Uh, what'd you think? Well, let's get into that first before I say who the winner was and yada, 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 all that stuff. Um, yes, you're right. It's interesting how they, they turn this like triple threat of heels in the same gimmick into a match that we care about. That is unique, but I also like it just in the end, I still was kind of, the way they ended it just kind of left a like oh, okay, so what? <laughs> like it was just kind of a what? I don't know that this is advancing much. Well, and I also don't think we're telling a new story. You know, there there can be yeah. infighting that's interesting, and then there can just be infighting because we need the inner circle on this week. It was interesting when it's Jake Hager and Wardlow because, hey, I'm the fucking monster in this group. Well, no, fuck you. I'm the monster in this group. But then when you're saying that same story, but it's I'm the, we're the tag team in this group. Well, we're the, it's the same fucking thing. I really thought so MJF and Chris Jericho win. MJF pulls the tights of Sammy Guevara to get the one, two, three. Um, I really thought, though, this could have been the re-solidifying of Santana and Ortiz. You could have been like, hey, this was the team that was brought in here, and then this is going to be the match that proves why they're the team in the inner circle. Instead, we get MJF and Chris Jericho, which now you're just devaluing Santana and Ortiz. Like, what, what's their purpose now if they're not the tag team in, in, in the inner circle? Are they going to do singles pushes? I doubt it. So well, I just don't yeah. know what we're doing with this. Unless we are just getting closer to the end of the inner circle and you know, well, then and they can the, go do a tag team thing. But again, it's a bloated tag team roster. Yeah, I totally agree. But we know that they're good. Remember the street fight that they had oh, with the best, probably one of the best they got. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I just, I, I really thought they misfired and they could have said Santana and Ortiz are the shit and you guys must've forgot, but this is going to be the match that 
makes you realize yeah. they're they're just, awesome. Just their tag team lineage would suggest they're not losing to two makeshift teams. Yeah. Or I else just, what are they? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. And then the other thing that I think the inner circle is missing right now is okay, so MJF joined the inner circle. Now we've got a little bit of this where does MJF fit in? Who does he like? Who is he trying to play? Where is he trying to scheme? Is he legit? All of that kind of angle. And like I said, I enjoyed the Wardlow Jake Hager thing because it's you know two monsters. It's a brand new faction. They got to figure out the pecking order. But now let's see who they're fucking facing. Stop facing each other. I need to see like who are you going after. Yeah. Got, what, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You got the goddamn Good Brothers from Impact hanging out here beating up people backstage. You're not saying shit about that or even addressing it. You know, what the hell? You got Eddie Kingston and his family, who they did a backstage promo with uh, Jake the Snake and and, uh, Lance Archer, which was, or yeah, Lance Archer, which was good. Mm -hmm. Uh, That was fine. Uh, Just want to make mention of that before we close up on AEW. But inner circle, identify who we're taking out. What's your goal here? You keep saying we're the best. Well, Jericho was the champ. Yeah, Jericho was the champ when crowds were involved. That's been a while, pal. So let's get into what we're doing here. Well, so, and there is nothing right now, because if it's not about Jer- elevating Jericho to a world title, what does a faction like this do? Especially when there's no other factions like that to tackle. So unless they're biding time, like you said, to be the, the turn them face as they take on the impact this ins- new insurrection impact yeah. group but i don't then that doesn't make sense with the mjf and wardlow joins the group stuff that kind of it felt uh, yeah i don't know i don't know where they're going with it and i wish they would like you said create a definitive decision and go with it and do it whether it's dissolution through tearing apart from the inside via mjf or unified front and going after somebody either way let's get something going Yes, definitely. 